Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be another SAS haul. I just did a walkthrough and posted it yesterday on my channel. So I'm going to do the haul for you guys today. I do just want to say if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you love Bath & Body Work content or body care content or candle content, you're going to love my channel. You can go ahead and subscribe down below and turn on post notifications and let's get into the haul. So the first store I have stuff from is actually a White Barn combo Bath & Body Work store and I already took everything out, but I went in that store because I was going to get a uh, price adjustment. I had bought some hand soaps at 50% off and they had just went to 75% off like a few days after I bought them or maybe a week after I bought them. And um, if you bring it back within two weeks, then they can price adjust it for you. So I got like a dollar eighty back on each soap and I had like eight soaps, I think. So um, I got back like $15 or something. So um, what she did was she rang up my old hand soaps. You have to bring in the product as well as your receipt. She rang up my old hand soaps and they rang up for the new price. And I think even though I bought stuff, I still ended up getting $2 back to my card. So that was really good in my opinion. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. The first thing is this Thanks and Giving Wallflower and they had these for $3.50 or no, I'm sorry, $3, all the wallflowers, which they've actually just brought them down to $2, but that's okay. I'm not going to go back for 50 cents. Um, so, or no, $2.50. They're all $2.50 now. I'm not going back for 50 cents. Thanksgiving is juicy red apple, gooey caramel, and praline pieces. Everybody said that this was so amazing um, this fall, so I just wanted to try it. I don't really use wallflowers that much, but my mom does downstairs, so we can try it out and see how it goes. The next thing I got is the hyaluronic acid um, mineral body polish plus hyaluronic acid. I've never seen these in stores. I really have never seen this line in my stores and a lot of people say that it's really, really good. They also had the moisturizing uh, body wash, which I didn't get. I have enough body washes, but I actually did need another scrub. So let's see if I can open it for you guys. Okay, it's unopened, which is good. I didn't even check if it was opened or not. It kind of smells like men's body care a little bit. It's just like fresh. And here's kind of the consistency. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of watery, but also like kind of thick and gloopy. I don't know. And this is originally $18.50. I got it for $4.62. This is a really good deal. The next thing that I got, and actually the last thing that I got at this store is the Twinkling Nights Body Lotion. Living Ash talked about this in her last um, Bath & Body Works haul or in one of her videos recently but the fragrance notes are frosted jasmine petals, whipped vanilla, and mandarin blossom. So I was really curious about this. And also I thought this was older, but it was made in 2020. So I don't think it's an old um, product. So to me, it has a really nice smell and I usually don't like floral scents, but I think I'm beginning to think that I'm good with jasmine and that I like that. But yeah, it does smell a little bit citrusy and a little bit like vanilla-y. So I'm excited to use this one. I don't have a lot of floral um, scents in my collection and the packaging is just darling. So I couldn't get over that. And this was 312, so 75% off. I did really good at the store. I actually got $2 back. So this was a good, good haul. And then the next one is from my mall. So I got a big bag from my mall and my mall is actually an outlet. So I knew that they would have a lot of really good stuff. Okay guys, you're never gonna believe what the first thing I saw right when I walked in the store was Santa's blueberry shortbread. What? From last uh, winter. Are you kidding me? And literally right when I walked in, the um, the lady, I, I saw this and I picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh. And she was restocking right next to me and she goes, yeah, that's the last one here. And I was like, oh my gosh, does that mean you'll head more? I bet somebody came and returned this, but I'm like so happy to be able to try this because I didn't try this last year and everybody raves about how good it smells. So the fragrance notes are baked blueberry, crumbled shortcake, and whipped cream. I definitely smell like almost like a pound cakey note to it with blueberries or like blueberry muffin is kind of what it smells like. I'm super excited to use this. I don't care what season it is. I will, 
I will definitely start using this, I think right now maybe, um, but I can definitely see myself even using it in spring and summer too. But this is $13.50 and I got it for $3.37. So it really should have been even cheaper because it's a year old, but you know, we're not gonna fault them for that. So, but yeah, that's super crazy that I found this thing. And then the second thing that I also found on the same shelf is Blackberry and Basil Shower Gel. I saw this earlier in SAS and I just didn't pick it up but this was the last one on the shelf and so I just decided to pick it up. Um, the notes are fresh blackberry, pink pomelo, sweet basil, and jasmine petals. Okay, we're seeing a trend here with jasmine. I guess I like jasmine. But this one smells super fresh and fruity and I thought this would be really good to use in like the heat of the summer when it's like 100 degrees outside in Texas and I don't even wanna like bother with cakey scents. Um, so this one will be really good to use in the summer. I just, it smells so nice and fresh and then this one was 312 so good deal on that and then the next thing that was also on the same i swear y'all the front um like the entrance setup was amazing they had all the best stuff there they had twilight woods in the shimmering body mist and they also had winterberry wonder which i didn't want that one because i ha already have that in a few different um formulas but i've never tried twilight woods so i'm actually gonna spray it right now i already have Maybe I'll, let's spray it on my wrist. I already have um, perfume on today. Uh-oh. Is it literally broken? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Whoops. That was a lot. Okay. So this one does not have any notes on it, but if I find them online, I'll put the notes down below. But to me, it smells like um, a little bit powdery, a little bit like sophisticated. It could almost be a unisex scent. I mean, you wear whatever you want, but I just think it could almost be like men's cologne um, or like a sophisticated lady. I don't know, but I don't have any shimmery um, and look how cool that you can't even see it, but it's like shimmery on my arms. I don't have any uh, diamond shimmer mist, so this will be my first one. It's originally $14.50 and I got it for $3.62, so good deal. Also on that same table, they had some um, mini travel size stuff and then they had some hand creams. So I got the Christmas candy cane hand cream. I guess they didn't sell enough of those um, boxes that this originally came in. So they had to take it out and sell it separately. But this is $6.50 and I got it for $1.62. I love getting hand cream 75% off. It's crazy. It's a crazy good deal. But yeah, it literally smells exactly like candy canes. I used this yesterday and it smells so good and pepperminty. So this is, I'm happy to have this one. And then the next thing that I found is coconut mint drop in the Ultra Shea body cream. So they had a lot of coconut mint drop left. Um, I mean, not a lot, but they had some left um, for 75% off. And I had been wanting to try this in other formulas. I love it so far. I have it in the body lotion and the body spray. I just um, never got the shower gel or the um, body cream. So when I saw the body cream, I decided to pick it up. And it smells just like the uh, just like the scent in the fragrance mist smells. Mm, it smells so, so good. So I'm very excited to have this. I'll probably use this next year, but I love Coconut Mint Drop and this is probably my favorite, no, it, it is my favorite season, fr season, my favorite scent from this season. There we go. And this was 362. The next thing that I found is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea Body Oil. And I was actually pretty surprised to see this. I had not seen the body oils in my store before, but I had seen them in other people's hauls and other people's walkthroughs. Um, and I have a body oil right now that's pretty much almost done. And I decided that I do like the body oils. So I wanted to pick up a new one. This kind of just smells like a spa. Um, definitely smells like similar to the eucalyptus mint if you ever smelled that, the regular stress relief eucalyptus mint. Um, just like a little bit more herbal, I would say. And this is originally $16.50. I got it for $4.95. And then the last thing that I have to haul for you guys from Bath & Body Works is the Peppermint Essential Oil Body Lotion. And this is an online exclusive. So I was super surprised to find this in my store. But like I said, it is an outlet and sometimes they do get the online exclusive stuff. Like I've seen Gingerbread Latte there before too. Um, and to me, this smells honestly like straight up peppermint. And if you've ever smelled peppermint essential oil, it smells exactly like that. And so this will be really good to use next winter 
like right around December. I feel like this would be really, really nice. I was looking at this online anyways. I was almost gonna get it online, but I decided against it. So I'm glad that I could pick it up in my store. And this was $13.50. I got this for $3.37. So really good deal on this. So total at the second store, I spent $23 and I still got $2 back from the other store. So I only spent $21 on this whole haul, which is really good in my opinion. And I do have some things to share with you from Victoria's Secret as well. So if you wanna keep watching for that, then you can just keep watching. If you're just here for the Bath and Body Works and I'll see you guys in my next video. So for Victoria's Secret, I went to the one in my mall. I was actually gonna to go to my VS Pink because I had some leggings to return there, um, but the VS Pink had a line and the Victoria's Secret is right next door. So that had no line. So I just went into Victoria's Secret instead. And if you've been to Victoria's Secret or VS Pink lately, you'll um, know that they have like a greeter at the door and they ask you what you're looking for. And so I told her I was looking at com some kind of fragrance stuff, but I was really just gonna look at everything. So um, immediately when I walked in, I went to the perfume section and um, one of the workers there, she showed me most of their perfumes. I've never tried Victoria's Secret perfumes before, but I tried a lot of them there or I sprayed a lot of them there and smelled it. And I actually picked up the Tease Heartbreaker Mini Roll-On Perfume. And this one was the only one that wasn't like super duper floral in my opinion that I smelled. Um, and this one, it's slightly powdery, but to me it has a little bit of a like berry scent going on so it's slightly powdery i will say that i didn't really expect it to be like that but i noticed that when i wore it yesterday um like i put it on and wore it for a while but i do like that it has like some berry notes to it so i'm very new to the perfume world so if you guys have any um recommendations for victoria's secret perfumes that you guys like um that you think aren't too floral um, or are like sweet and gourmand please recommend them down below i'm very new to this game but um this was $18 originally and all the perfumes were 60% off. So I got it for $7.20. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So then I returned my old leggings because they were size small and I needed a size medium and I got a new different type of legging um, and they're the Victoria's Secret brand. These are Victoria's Secret Performance 7 8 length. So yeah, they're just regular leggings. They have pockets on the side, but the material feels so buttery soft. And honestly, these felt a lot better quality than the ones that I got at VS Pink. And the cashier, when I was checking out, she said, I wear these every day to work and they've never failed me and they have so much stretch. And I was like, great, I'm so excited to wear these. So I can't wait to wash them and wear them, um, but I do need to try them on and make sure that they actually fit so I don't have to return them again. But yeah, I thought these were a really good deal. I think I just exchanged them um so i don't think i even paid any oh no they were seven dollars more so the ones from victoria's secret pink were thirty dollars and these were 37 um even on sale which i think they were half off and they were half off of the original price of 75 so pretty good um so total i spent 14 dollars at vs no at victoria's secret so I'm pretty happy with everything that I got. I think I can chill on SAS. Um, I think I'm done shopping. I don't need to shop anymore. I definitely have enough body care. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you guys have found anything new. I know they've been doing a lot more 75% off stuff lately. So if you found any cool hidden gems, please let me know down below. I would love to know. I think so far for SAS, my like most unique finds are Twinkling Nights, Santa's Blueberry Shortbread, and Twilight Woods. I literally Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. Just Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. I'm trying to see the date of when it was made, but honestly, I don't think that's correct because it looks like it's a, oh no, it's a nine. Okay. And by the way, if you guys don't know, um, you can see what date something was made by looking on the bottom of the bottle. Let me get one that looks that you can actually see it on. Okay. So here's blackberries and basil, but this one, okay. So it's not this barcode, but it's this code up here and the first uh, number is going to be the year. So this is a zero, so it was made in 2020 and blueberry shortbread uh, has a nine at the end, so it was made in 2019. So that's a good way to gauge kind of like how old your stuff is. But anyways, enough of the chitter chatter. Um, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.